Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's me Talha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add details to the facade design which we have created in the previous videos as well as I'm going to show you how to set up sheets in Revit. But before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as I suggest you check out my Patreon where you'll find all my Revit project files. All the link are in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project this is actually the third video on this project if you haven't watched the previous videos yet i suggest you check them out before watching this video to understand this one better you will find the links in the description anyway let's go to first floor here and I want to create the details uh, of this facade design so first we want to create a call out here so let's go to view select call out here and just create a call out uh, around this uh, facade design now uh, if you notice here we got this new uh, call out view here so let's rename it facade details Okay, I will just go to this view. Now, before doing any changes here, we want to create a new sheet so we can set up the scale for this view. So to create the sheet, we can just go here, right click, new sheet, and uh, I have this uh, sheet already loaded in this project. So I will just select that and click OK. And now let's drag and drop this facade details uh, to this sheet and we need to reduce this scale because uh, we want to add uh, another view on this sheet so let's double click it and uh, we'll be able to see the scale here right now it's uh, 1 is to 50 so we want to increase the scale here so we can reduce this view so i think 1 is to 100 will be uh, will make it very smaller let's check that so I think we need to create a custom scale for this so let's go here custom and I will just create a new 1 is to 75 scale let's click OK perfect now we'll just double click outside and drag this view and try to take it to the center and to edit this line here we can just select this view again and use this dot and just drag it here let's move this view title also now let's add the dimensions to this view so let's go back to facade details and let's go to annotate select align dimension and let's create the dimensions here and if you notice we cannot actually snap the center of this column the reason for that is this column was created using the model in place so to fix this we need to create a small uh, model line in the middle of this column so we can use that to create the dimension so I'll just select this column then edit in place and use model line and I will just zoom in as much as possible because we want to create a very small uh, model line here which we only want to use to create the dimensions perfect so if I zoom out you can see uh, that uh, this model line is not visible and we can easily use that to create the dimension so now let's copy this to the other columns but before that I want to create another model line here to to use it to create the dimension on this side so let's zoom in here go to create select model line and draw a small model line in the middle here now we can select both of these model lines and then just copy I will use this as a reference and copy to the other columns here perfect now we can just click finish model and now we can easily create the dimensions here 
now let's zoom in and it will snap the line which we have just created perfect let's uh, snap this one as well so we'll quickly create all, all the dimensions here So I have created all the necessary dimensions here. Now uh, I think we need to change the size of these dimensions uh, of this dimension text. So let's select this one, then edit type, duplicate. I'll just type A3 for the paper reference, and then S75 for the scale reference, and then we can add the text size here which will be 2.2 millimeter just click ok and let's scroll down here and in the text size we can put 2.2 millimeters now I want to change the tick mark as well and here we have the tick mark parameter let's click at the corner and I want to use open dot 3 meter from this drop down now let's click ok and there you go to reduce the size of this we can go to manage then additional settings then annotations and then arrow heads now here first we want to change the type to open dot three millimeters and then we have the tick size here let's make it 1.5 millimeters and then i will just quickly rename it and put 1.5 here now click ok ok again and it's looking perfect now we can just replace all these dimensions with this one so let's right click on any of these and then select all instances visible in view and then we can go here and from this drop down we can select this new style which we have just created perfect now let's go to the sheet to check this can see it's looking perfect now we can create a new view which we want to put here so let's go to south south elevation here and we want to create a new call out here as well so let's go to view select call out and let's create a call out around this facade design perfect let's rename it it will be south elevation facade details now let's go back to the sheet again so we can uh, set up the scale let's just drag and drop this view here i think this 1 is to 50 scale uh, is working fine with this view so we can just go to the facade details and add the details here so again i will just quickly add the dimensions here so let's go to annotate align dimension and I will just uh, create the dimensions here so I have added all the necessary dimensions here and now I think we need to create a new uh, dimension type here again uh, for this uh, 1 is to 50 scale so let's select this one and then edit type duplicate and this will be a3 scale 50 or 1 is to 50 and then the text size will be 3 millimeters click ok and just scroll down and put 3 uh, millimeters here let's click ok or i think we need to change the tick mark let's change it to open dot and click ok and there you go now I will just quickly replace all these dimensions so right click select all instances visible in view and then select this 1 is to 50 uh, dimension style perfect 
but if you notice some of these dimensions are overlapping so we need to fix that let's just select this dimension and you will see this dot to drag the text and it will automatically create the leader here now let's select this one and just drag it then this one as well let's repeat the same here as well now one thing is missing here which is the indication for this uh, window uh, windows uh, glass so I don't have any glass pattern or hatch loaded into this project so so I usually use detail line to create the glass indication so let's go here and select detail line let's create three detail lines here this angle uh, the middle one will be a bit longer than the other two now let's create one here a bit smaller than the middle one then we can just select this and uh, mirror it to the other side but before that make sure copy is checked here and then just mirror it and then we can just select all these lines and change them to thin lines and just create a group of this so let's click here to create a group I will just call it glass click OK now we can just hold control key and drag this group to create a copy of this and we want to create more copies of this group now we can just hold control key and drag it to this window as well perfect now we can export this drawing to PDF so for that we can just go to file export and here we have the export PDF option which is a new feature in Revit 2022 if you are using an earlier version of Revit you can just go to print and then print again and here you can just select Microsoft print to PDF and then current window and, and just export this to PDF for now I want to use this new feature so let's go to file export pdf and here i want to change the location to this folder here and change the file name to uh, classical facade details and just make sure a3 is selected in the page size and then uh, you can just leave the orientation to automatic if you want to export it uh, black and white you can just change the color to black lines for now we'll just leave it on color then click export so the drawing is now exported to PDF let's check that here we have it there you go so that's how we create the facade detail drawings in Revit so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com as well as my Patreon. All the links in the description and yeah I will see you guys in the next video.